Hello, and welcome to Excerpt Live First Edition, where we bring book Arthur's words to life. I'm your host, Jaylene Mack, and I'm sitting here with my co-host, Funky Larry Jones. Good evening, ma'am. How are you? <laughs> I'm good, Larry. I want to introduce our panel to you. They've written all kinds of books, probably collectively over a dozen between all the authors sitting here, and they range anywhere from hot, juicy, passionate sex mm. to everlasting salvation. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to get to know these authors today and talk a little bit about uh, some of their works. So sitting to my immediate left here is Dr. D. Von Young, who wrote Break Up, Don't Break Down. Welcome, Dr. Young. Thank you. Absolutely. Next, we have next, sitting next to him, Shelton Jolivet, who wrote the book Burned, The Unthinkable Journey to Truth. Welcome, Mr. Jolivet. Thank you for having me. All right. And next to him is Tony Womack. That's what you get for running with scissors is her book. Welcome, Tony. Thank you. Absolutely. Sit so next to her is Demez White, who wrote the book Walking Down the Aisle. Yeah, All right. And next to him is a lovely young lady, Portia Zarea. And she wrote the book Know That I Am. Welcome, Portia. And last but not least, this tall, handsome chocolate chip sitting on the end is Rick Schaffel. More than a rib, a woman's journey to perspective, healing, and empowerment. Welcome to all of our panelists, and thank you for being here tonight. I think we're going to have some fun. Yeah. I mean, just listening to these titles, this is some incredible stuff we're going to talk about tonight. But to be in the midst of a group of authors, mm -hmm. writers, developers, healers, because I, when I read, I'm healed. Burned. It's a novel. It's a multi-climatic, action-packed, suspense drama with a romantic twist that leaves you hanging at hello. Burned. You know burned. Was it burned, burned? I mean, what's burned? <laughs> let's, let's talk about that. What does burn mean? <laughs> um, if, if, if this makes any sense, it's fiction with a lot of realistic in it. But burned is an experience. Okay. Hope you're ready for it. <laughs> Running with Scissors is volume one. Um, fortunately, um, after the book was published, and very, very fortunate that 97.9, when they were doing their book break, picked my book for me. The great thing about my book is that it doesn't have a predictable ending. The, the endings are never predictable. It's like you're reading, you think you're going to know what's going to happen, and you go, oh my God. And if you make that choice, don't get angry at the other person because they did exactly what they were going to do. Well, my third book is a, it's actually a humorous reference book called The Side Piece Handbook. And it is basically, it's not telling you how to be a side piece. <laughs> it's just kind of giving. <laughs> Stop. Hey, that's a profession for some people. So. Well, yeah, it is. Demez, the cover. I would say it's rather interesting. Yes, ma'am. Blood stain. There's a blood, some blood on there. <laughs> Is this by my ex-wife? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? She might be in a book, actually. <laughs> that little detour and going down the aisle, but there's blood. A great mystery, perhaps. Walking Down the Aisle is a romance suspense novel. And the truth is, you know, my generation, men and women are friends on a daily basis, and people get married and you lose those friendships. And this is a story of two people that don't wanna lose that friendship. And they are struggling to keep their friendship together. And in that struggle, they have to deal with the demons that we all love, that we all hate, that we all admire. Who will play the leads? Or who would you like to see? Believe it or not, I want Mary J. Blige to play mm -hmm. the lead. I would say it was difficult because I was living it, basically. Okay. Um, even though the stories are fictional, um, there's still a little bit of truth in them, and I think the best stories come from truth. Uh, from my book is Mona Me. And Mona Me is Zion and Carla, our best friends. And they, um, their relationship is put to the test through love and betrayal. And there's a kiss of scandal in there. So if I tell you too much, I'm going to give it all away. I mean, it's a lot of twists and turns and hurricanes. and all, It's just everywhere but I wouldn't say amusement I would just say kind of an awakening mm -hmm. for me um, when you write something that's purpose-driven okay 
It's inspired by the moment, and it's inspired by transcendence. And right. I explain this to friends and family and get over this guilt. I come on a template and it's not cookie cut. So what happens is there are a lot of people that cohabitate, but they have bought a house and they have kids. Rick, tell us a little bit about more than a rib. I grew up in an abused home where my mother was abused. I grew up in a drug-filled home where my mother and father were both on drugs and situations and trying to be a transitional boy to a man. I've had to deal with you know, this, that, and the other that I wasn't coped or able to deal with because of not having those family figures there that were necessary. Self-help inspirational situation is about knowing your personal value. Like uh, some of the other authors, they have characters, but you are the character in this. You have to know what your personal value is and what your worth is. And if you don't, you will continue to treat yourself bad and just being able to let certain things go. Well, let's move on to something just a little bit lighter. <laughs> a little bit of foresight beats the hell out of a lot of hindsight. Uh, let me let me write that down so I can trademark that. Before we get out of here, because we are running out of time, I had a really good time sitting here with everybody today and heard some funny things, some uh, exciting things, and some inspiring things, and some things that, like I said, I'm gonna trademark and copyright later. But, but um, before Larry and I say goodbye to our audience at home, we wanna make sure that we introduce a very special lady who put all this together, who has created the show for your viewing pleasure. Miss Tanya Palmer, welcome. Thank you, thank you, hello, hello. She is our executive producer of the show, and she can also share with us one of the reasons why she even did this show and um, its development as it relates to a fascinating program that's coming up in March. So, Absolutely. Um, first of all, I am so excited about this, this segment here, Excerpt Live, and for these phenomenal authors here, these promising African-American authors that I, that I am just delighted to know, to be able to personally reach out and touch. And then also, too, for my host here, for Ms. Jaylene Mack. The Queen of Houston, Queen. With, with, with the, what do they call you? The Queen of Entertainment? Uh, something along the lines. <laughs> Ste Stephon Davis, thank you very much. <laughs> and then we also have Funky Larry Jones of One o Magic 102.1. So I'm so happy to have you. You hear that voice? Mm -hmm. That voice? Sexy. Time. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yes, um, I am Tanya Palmer, and I am the... Um, I guess the 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 vessel uh, for excerpt live and what excerpt live is is it's an opportunity to bring the excerpts of authors works to life so that you can actually as the as a reader you can actually see it happening right before your eyes and these uh, these authors here four of them will actually be presenting a, a excerpt from their work um, live and in living color for you on March 7th Saturday, March 7th of 2015 is going to be at the Historic Ensemble Theater. Um, and so we look forward to seeing you there. Please follow us at excerptlive.com. And on there, we are still developing the page. However, we're going to also have links to each and every author. So that way you can have a direct link to them as well. And make sure you go and like us on Facebook, mm -hmm. excerptlive.com or excerptlive at Facebook. So make sure you like us there. And then also to make sure you follow these authors. There's so much in store, um, so much they have in their books. And so so much that they can share with you about not only their lives but also their vision so we look forward to um connecting with you very soon march 7th remember that saturday march 7th absolutely and until next time look for us with uh excerpt live edition two yes to come sometime <laughs> probably in 2015. Mm -hmm. so good night everybody good night be safe god bless <laughs> <laughs>